Hey, welcome back to a very new video. My name is Katja and on this channel I talk mostly about K-pop, language studies, books, here and there some mangas. And yeah, you probably get that this is not a travel video. The video I promised you guys last vlog. It's very recent though. I only filmed the first half of my trip and not the second half. The second half I was with a friend and we were just hanging out and I completely forgot to film which is a shame because I was in Dusseldorf and that would have been perfect on this channel because I visited so much manga stores, also a little bit of K-pop and I did so many fun things. Unfortunately it did not work out because I forgot but I did film some things and I think it's a little bit of a waste to not show it to you guys so i will put it on the end especially because there is something really fun in there and it was also very much a surprise to me so i still want to share but if you're not interested you can just skip it because there is just normal stuff that i always kind of do in these kind of vlogs like showing what i read what i watch um some k-pop stuff and my thoughts on it and also uh, some unboxings because tomorrow, yes, finally my Stray Kids Tour DVD will arrive and I'm so hyped. Also, I am getting some PCs and what else? There is so much to read, so definitely that. And also because I just came back from a trip, there are some stuff to show. And also, yes, before I forget, I'm gonna go back to my language studies! <sighs> I'm so excited! Like, I've actually got time again to just sit in a very quiet and just motivated again to just be and read and learn and write and <laughs> whatnot. I'm so stoked! So, yeah! By the way, it's Tuesday evening. Did I already mention that? If not, uh, here you go. <laughs> so the thing is, I actually only came back yesterday evening very, very late. It was supposed to be the beginning of the evening, but then um, a lot of trains got a delay. So I got so, so extremely delayed. I think I came back at... Yeah, it was before midnight. Luckily. Uh, and The Rose with their new album, Dual, and also Kepler, Magic Hour. They kept me company, so I will share my thoughts on their music as well. Kepler was nice when I was feeling sad because it was very up tempo, and The Rose was really nice to listen to in the dark, moody moments, I guess. <laughs> Also, a little bit later in the evening, because Kepler is very powerful and very much summery, does that make sense? So anyway, I will talk about their music later on, and I also have to see if there is even more music out, because there has been so much things going on lately. Anyway, all that for later during this vlog, and I'm just gonna get in my pajamas and read some. Look what just came in, my Maniac Tour DVD. It's a bit smaller than I expected. Oh, don't mind the red on my hand. I got an allergic reaction to... I don't know what. Anyway, it's a little bit smaller than I expected, but hey, it all fits in perfectly. We got some photo cards that I still need to open, clearly. I also got... wait... The DVDs? How many DVDs are there? Three. Huh. I'm curious what's all on there. So I definitely need to check that one out. And then of course the photo book. I have to do this all by one hand. That's not the way to go to be honest. Ooh, a small poster. Maybe I can frame this because it is really small. But then again, wait, let me show you guys the album first before I'm gonna talk about something else. Yes, I'm gonna have a closer look at that tonight. 
Anyway, I also got this postcard because I got a GYP benefit. So maybe this is the one that I want to frame. And then I also got this accordion. Which looks so good. It's very high quality, by the way. Anyway, I also got some shopping done. So <laughs> I found these Halloween lights and it are spiders. And I thought it would be perfect with Phantom because of one of their songs. Uh, maybe I can decorate it with that. Or I also have some LED lights. It are candles actually, but then fake. I think it looks really pretty. I also got this. Um, that's not to decorate a maniac tour DVD shelf. Maybe it is though. But I'm also gonna decorate my room. Make it a bit more Halloween-y. Bit more fall. So yeah, this was all over the place to basically say, hey, I'm decorating and I have no idea where to go, so I'm gonna take you guys along with it. It's Thursday and this morning I got some work done, but for this afternoon I want to do something else. I want to deep clean my room because of the autumn weather. I want to get ready for Halloween and I felt so inspired after my shopping trip of yesterday. I want to get my shelves ready, but I also really want to deep clean behind the shelves, get the dust away. Um, it's quite a process, but I'm fine with it. I actually feel very restless due to the very hectic summer that I had. And I just want to do something. And also, after the trip I just went on, I always feel very inspired to change things up around me and just start new. I don't know. Is this a thing? I know it's not spring, but I also always feel the need to do this around autumn maybe also because i want to change up my wardrobe i don't know but it is what it is so i'm gonna deep clean i'm also gonna reorganize certain things and let me bring you guys with me step one get everything out of the shelves and clean 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 step two empty your bookshelf it's the next day and it's time for step three, putting everything back in order and then start shoveling things around. So it won't be in order, but in a Halloween-y manner. Anyway, one of the bigger things that I started to change was that the picture over here is gone. It's a very summery picture. I actually took it in spring, so it's also very spring-like. It's very bright and blue. Which is lovely. I love that picture. That picture holds so many dear memories. But for this spooky season, I of course want to make this Dark Academia vibes. I'm already starting with the more darker books over here. Actually, it's a coincidence. So this book I am reading for my blog. And this is the BTS biography. So yeah, I'm still reading that. Kudos to everyone who finished that book so, so super fast. And this is a book that I was reading during my trip, but I couldn't finish it because, well, I was really enjoying my trip. Anyway, over here. So let's talk back to the shelves again. Gojo is fitting in so well. I love it. But tonight I'm getting more mangas in, so I don't know if this will be still fitting. We'll have to see. Over here, I'm really, really happy with how everything looks. It looks the same and it's totally fine with me. It's very practical, so I'm not gonna change that. Over here, I have my CDs of non-K-pop artists and when I saw this candle holder, I realized that it's the same color as Midnight by Taylor Swift. And I was like, yes, I really freaking love this. This candle is fake, by the way. The reason why I have a lot of fake candles is just because I'm scared that there is a fire coming off. I know, everyone has their preferences and um, yeah, this is my way to do things. Over here I have my Stray Kids shelves and I'm not really happy. I think this blue is too bright. I should change it up. 
and Maniac, it's not working over there because it's a bit smaller than I expected it to be. So I'm thinking of leveling it with albums. But I'm not gonna lie, this Maniac DVD is actually quite heavy. So I don't know if I want to put it on there or if I want to take stuff out and then put it on and then, I don't know, make it look cute. Anyway, I did not show you guys that I got my tour merch in. It are these enamel pins. I love it. I actually have an enamel pin collection. So yeah, I like that. This is shining now together with the girls. When I look at it from this point of view of my room, I actually already like it. But there's still a lot that I want to do to make it a bit more seasonal, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna leave it for now. I have some things to do for today, so this weekend I will get over it. I also have a basket filled with seasonal things and hopefully I can make it a bit more autumn vibes. But as of right now, I'm gonna show you guys a haul because the mangas came in. It's the 10th volume of the Apothecary Diaries, the 9th, the 8th, the seventh and the fifth and where is number six and four because one and three are over there well they hopefully come tomorrow i hope they had to come from a different uh book handlung, um so bookstore <laughs> so here's the thing i read my mangas in german and sometimes when i read something german i have a hard time speaking english after that you probably get it if you speak multiple languages um yeah you probably have to deal with the same thing so it comes from a german bookstore and hopefully they will arrive tomorrow so everything can be ready over there it's saturday and guess what just came in the other mangas that i was missing volume four and six so probably tomorrow maybe late this afternoon i'm gonna finish my shelves and make it look all pretty these are just a lot of volumes 10 and the 11th one comes out in november i believe in german because i read in german i don't know how far they are actually in english but this is how far they are in german something i love watching myself when i watch youtube or hauls especially what bring people home after a trip and yeah I love to share what I did in Dusseldorf. Normally I don't buy that many things except for this year like Berlin in spring, uh, London in summer and right now in Dusseldorf. I don't know why. It all had to do with the vibes I guess. There was a list of the different places what I wanted to buy there especially because I live in a quite rural area in the Netherlands. So a lot of things are not that accessible to me. So when I go to a bigger city, there's mostly a list of things that I want to get. And let's start with the first thing. And it's something that I'm wearing. So Uniqlo. It's Karomi. If you couldn't see, it's very small. I also really wanted to have this other t-shirt and it has a very big picture of Karomi on there. But unfortunately, they only have this one and cinema roll? No, it's not cinema roll. <laughs> Melody, Melody. <laughs> um, and I am um, very much a Karomi stan. It also has Karomi in the back, but yeah, it's a bit hard to show. Um, so I'm really happy about this. And the first thing I actually bought is something that I also kind of bought in june but then a different color and it's to stay vulnerable oh wait that was the french side <laughs> stay vulnerable glossy lip balm from a rare beauty in the color nearly mauve it's this plum purple and i think it's perfect for an autumn so when i saw this color i was like yes you're going home with me because the things that i could buy from rare beauty in london were not that much um, so I was really happy when I saw two Sephora's in Dusseldorf where I could buy Rare Beauty. So I was really happy about that. 
And then yesterday, after I recorded something and I was like, wait, did I actually make an introduction already? So here we go. This is Gojo. I bought them in one of the manga shops that I went into the day that I was not filming when I should have. <laughs> I'm still so bummed about it, but what can you do about it? Anyway, so we named him Gojo, my travel buddy and I, because, well, reasons. <laughs> okay, so let me explain the reason. So there was one book or manga that we decided to body read uh, because I talked about this manga that I watched the anime and that one K-pop idol that we both followed that he named well he did not actually name this manga he just gave a fake description about the anime and she was like I'm very interested about it and it's about my dress up darling except in German it's called More Than a Doll which is so funny because it has like an English title but they decided to give it a different English title just because it's just German but I do love that the sound of this one a bit better than my dress up darling because my dress up darling sounds so I don't know so plain but I love that the German edition says no She's more than a doll. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought this together with this and another banga. But uh, the point that I wanted to make was that my travel friend, she said we should name the plush some a guy's name from one of the mangas that she bought. And I was like, well, the guy's name is Gojo. So maybe we should go with Gojo. And we evenly thought it was perfect. Another manga that I bought over there was the third volume of my Apothecary Diaries. <laughs> I never know how to say it in English just because I'm so used to the German title so I always have to think. Um, so yeah, that definitely makes my collection complete. As of right now, the fourth, no sorry, the eleventh volume will come out in November. Did I read any volume already? But I did bought all 10 of them. <sighs> yes, I did. And no, I did not read any of the volumes. <laughs> I have such high hopes that I was just like, well, I'm just gonna buy them all. <laughs> this is not my normal tactic, by the way, guys. I always read the first one first and then I decide if I want to continue reading on the series. But I heard so many great I'm setting myself up to fail so much. Uh, but then again, I also read so many good reviews already about the anime that's coming out in November that I was like, oh, it should all be fine. By the way, is it just me? Or should have been that manga... Well, what a sentence. Should that manga have been an anime already last summer? Because I thought that was the plan. Or is it just me? not remembering things correctly. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. What's the next thing? I believe it's this book. Well, okay. It's not the last thing. I have more things, but it's more of the non-food related stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I bought this book, Im Imogen, obviously, by Becky Albertelli. I always want to say it in Dutch. Imogen. <laughs> this is Imogen. Um, some things are so strange to me in a different language. I'm really struggling today, I just noticed. Anyway, um, so we went to this very, very big bookstore in Dusseldorf and it had also a very big English section, which was very nice. I do read in German, like, oh, for example, the mangas, uh, but my travel friend, she doesn't she can read German but she was like yeah I don't like to read novels in German which is fine everyone's cup of tea and to be honest I prefer just to read mangas in German and my books in English or Dutch that's as of right now my preferred language is to read so and this is one of the covers that I truly like of this 
story because there are other covers, but this is my favorite. But it's also very hard to get in the Netherlands. So when I saw this book laying in the bookstore, I was like, you're coming home with me. Besides that I rarely ever shop during my trips, it are mostly just smaller items, not as big as this trip. <laughs> Most people would say, what are you talking about, girl? Because it's very, very small. But yeah, to me, it's actually quite a lot, especially if you didn't do that in the past, I guess. But anyway, one of the things that I also rarely bought on trips was food. And I got a bag filled with food. <laughs> There are some things that I um, took into the kitchen um, because I got those in a German chocolaterie. Is that also the English word? I really hope so. So I got there and then I forgot the words. It's like caramel and noga. I hope that's also the English words. I know caramel, yes, but my brain today it's not working anyway so when we were in the japanese korean part of dusseldorf because you have little tokyo over there and that's mostly japanese shops and also a lot of korean by the way they even had like cute korean cafes that was amazing so there was also a korean market let me tell you there were multiple markets supermarkets around there like mostly Japanese, some more oriental and this was a Korean supermarket but it did have a Japanese aisle, a Thai aisle, Indonesian aisle and Chinese. Yes, that was also it. So where shall I start? Shall I start with the non-Korean items? Yeah, I guess <laughs> I'm gonna start with that. So the first thing, because we're going to autumn and I love the autumn vibes, one of the things that unfortunately also a lot of times happen is a sore throat due to the weather changing. So when I saw these ginger bombs, I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me because I probably <laughs> need you very soon. And this is from the Indonesian Isle. Or did I already say that? Words today, it's not wedding. And then I love these type of snacks. It are sunflower pits. Again, my words are not wording. <laughs> um, so I love roasted sunflower seeds or sunflower seeds. That, that was the word, right? Right? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. So I got this package and it's from the Chinese Isle. I love snacks like these because they are so crunchy and I love healthy snacks. Talking about health, we go to the first Korean snacks and that's citrus candy. I know I could have bought it in the Netherlands or Germany, just a completely different brand, but I just saw it laying there and they were for a very good price, cheaper than what I would get in the Netherlands or Germany. Which is strange because this packet had to be shipped, but oh well, here we are. So I got some bonbons. Then we go to the actually candy candy area because if though there are candy down there, they are all throat related. <laughs> ah, the autumn, it brings out the craziness. Anyway, I got some peach candy. They were so delicious because, okay, so we went twice to this market. Uh, one time just to be feeling very overwhelmed and the second time to actually buy a lot. So the first round I just bought this package and my friend, she opened it up in the evening and we were like, yes, I'm also gonna buy more packages the next day or two days later, three days, two days later. So yeah, I got two packages of these and during the first trip I also bought this container my friend she just recently went to Korea and she said that these were so tasty so I also got I don't even know is there an English word over here also bonbons I love how they call everything that <laughs> and it's also in the taste 
They were out of strawberries because I really like strawberries, but unfortunately they were out of it. But I do could get this in strawberry. I think it's very similar to... I want to say something, but it's gonna be sounding so Dutch. Fruitella? I don't know if you know it. If you do, I have the feeling this is kind of the same. But we have to see. It's definitely some form of candy. So that was my haul. I'm very happy with everything that I got. I got a good mix of snacks that I can eat while reading my books and manga. I got some things to get pretty and also a very nice shirt. I immediately started to wear this today because I was like, yeah, I can show it off and clip, but also it's so comfortable. Honestly, guys, Uniqlo clothing is like a different tier level. I would love to shop a bit longer over there, but because I was on a trip and I didn't want to spend too much time in clothing stores, I was like, I'm gonna make another trip one day to just go to the Uniqlo. Well, not just to go to the Uniqlo, but to um, look in that store to seek some new basics because I'm definitely someone who is in need of some basics and these clothing is so nice anyway let's get on with my shelves getting them halloweeny autumny fall ready welcome by the wrap up part of this video so here's the thing i want to give you guys a disclaimer it didn't work to make everything look very scary or halloweeny it's just cozy vibes all the way with the candles over here and there and even more so over there yeah it's not very halloweeny but then again i don't like the color orange i know i'm dutch so i should but i really really don't so this is what i made of it actually yeah maybe a little bit boring but that's fine while I want to talk about my shelves being not so autumnal or Halloween-y, the wind is picking up so hard outside. So if you hear anything in the back, it's it's that. Um, so yeah, I really had a hard time to make my shelves a bit more festive, I guess. And that all has to do probably also with the fact that Halloween is not as big over here. So you don't have a lot of color options. And I really, really don't like orange. <laughs> and it's fine, you know. It, I am already so happy with the candles that are standing there. It feels so cozy at night when I'm reading and sitting on my bed. And yeah, you know what? It's, it's that for now. I'm just dealing with it for now. Uh, maybe one day I make it a bit more festive or I have new ideas for next year or whatever. We'll have to see. I do however like that my books are standing over there. Um, that I want to read in October and November. That are a bit more spooky. Dark Academia. Murder Mystery. I love those kind of books. Especially this part of the year. Like... I go crazy for those kind of books. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about music. Because that was actually also one of the reasons that I didn't want to create such a autumnal vibes on my shelves. Because I knew that Stray Kids and probably also Le Seraphim are going to have comebacks in November. And now it's confirmed that Stray Kids is going to have a comeback. I am so freaking excited. You have no idea. Especially because it's gonna be rock and I, I'm i all here for it because rock is definitely one of my favorite genres when it comes down to music. So seeing Stray Kids explore rock, I am just in awe. We have seen it before uh, with Battleground, so I kind of expect that we're gonna get a Korean version of Battleground. Because Battleground was originally only on the, the sound. Was it an album? Yes, the album. Um, so I'm excited about that. And also we have seen Bang Chan explore the rock genre a lot. Han with the current Dome Tour, which is so epic. I've seen so many clips and I can't get enough. 
So I truly honestly hope that Han is gonna have his song on there because it would fit so well. But then again, it's a solo song, so I don't know how they're gonna do it. But on the other hand, with Five Star, we didn't got any unit songs or solo songs on there. So maybe they're gonna change it up for the mini album. Nevertheless, I am freaking excited. Also, talking about music, because I said at the beginning that I was going to talk about Kepler and also The Rose. Yes. I've been talking about music non-stop for the past 24 hours, so I sometimes don't know what I said or what I didn't. But you know what? I'm just going to go through it very fast, uh, because I don't have anything memorized as of right now and I don't have... Um, something to look at as of right now but I think I stand very much with the same thing I said at the very beginning of this video um, I do really like Kepler their comeback only I really really wished it didn't have such a summer sound not at this time of the year because they came out with this album in September right now it's October and this was truly an album that would have fitted better if it came out somewhere in the beginning or the first half of August then it would make sense right now it doesn't make any sense I also wished the songs had a bit more power to them uh, when it comes down to exploring the genre that they're going through also with the storytelling um, I expected with Galileo the title track that they would go back to the Warada era but they didn't and I think it's truly a loss because right now they don't have a very well um, storyline secured and that makes me really sad because I really like the girls their performances has been overwhelming good and they they are growing as artists so much and I wish that their entertainment company behind them did a better job but as of what the girls can control is that their dancing, their vocals, especially their vocals have been so well they are doing incredible I think shouting is shining more and more when it comes down to her vocals which I'm so happy about Especially because we know that the contract of Kepler is going to end somewhere next year, if I'm correct. <sighs> yeah, and I think it's a good thing in a way. I am curious though, what is going to happen with them. Uh, but I think it would be a good thing so the girls can develop themselves. But then again, on one hand, we know for Jujin that her future with Kepler well that that's probably the end of her table career probably which is sad because she's still so young but she's very old for entertainment company which yeah makes me really bummed because I think she has been shining more and more each comeback um so yeah I wished it was a bit better magic hour I wish that the company had done more thought about it more but all what the girls can control they did an amazing job the rose oh that's that's definitely an album that's made for this time of the year i love this smoky voice i really like the songs i really like the build the up builds of the album i also like the songs a lot and I think it's also a very nice fit with their last album, with how they structured everything. It's kind of funny because you see definitely a lot of growth in their albums, especially when you compare it to their older albums. The last two albums are very much in line with each other, which I think is amazing. But that's all what I'm going to say because I did not memorize for each group what songs I wanted to talk about because I knew this clip would otherwise be too long. So I'm gonna end it and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!
Hey, welcome back to a very new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Katja and on this channel I talk about K-pop, books, language studies, whatnot. But this time around I'm actually in a hotel room, a very small hotel room. Because I'm traveling, this is my first day of travel, so I arrived a few hours ago and I had a migraine. <laughs> I think it was from all the stress of the few months doing the contract and everything. If you're new here, I had a very, very big contract. It's off and also I did not really eat well today. Um, I didn't eat on the proper times and my head was like, well, we don't like that. So we're gonna break down. Um, so I'm a bit flushed, but... That also has to do because I had a quick nap and just chilled for a bit and now I am heading off for tea time. <laughs> oh my god, I really love this hotel by the way. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a bit different than you're probably used to because you don't have a tea maker on the room. You just go to the main hotel, so this is on an estate. I really should have probably introduced this place where I'm staying at, but yeah, I'm staying at this estate that has multiple hotel buildings, which is crazy. And actually, the most crazy part is, I used to live here. <laughs> I used to work here um, at a, yeah, like a study center. That's the best thing I can <laughs> explain this. And it's in the middle of the woods. It's amazing. It's like an amazing place and it's so great to be back here because I actually do from time to time work for this place. So it's honestly so much fun to be here and hang around. And tonight I have a dinner and I just got a text from an old friend that he might come tonight for cocktails. So I am very, very excited. This is a very long introduction and there's even more to come because tomorrow I am traveling to a bucket list point and I'm also going to travel to Germany and I'm taking you guys with me. I'm so freaking excited. I made a bucket list point come through. I slept last night in a luxurious hotel, aka a five star hotel. Yesterday I was so freaking tired so I didn't film anything. But yeah, this is me getting ready. To travel even more because today I'm gonna go to Dusseldorf but first let's show my very spacious hotel room because I for some reason got a free upgrade which I'm very excited about like I even have two to fees yeah everything is a mess now because I slept in here <laughs> I got a desk look how amazing a very very big bed. I slept of course in the middle. I felt like a marshmallow and it was amazing. I had such a good night rest but as of right now I have to pack because I'm gonna travel.